volunteering at the Norfolk Tank Museum, you'll be able to work on all sorts of different vehicles, from Land Rovers, the BV206, up to full main battle tanks. You'll have the opportunity to work on the engines, work on the electrics, and be able to paint the vehicles. And the end product is we get to actually drive them around the arena at Armourfest and show them off to the public. Oh, you're playing with tanks. I mean, what could be more exciting than that? They're the big boys' toys of the, uh, of the, of the museum. At Tank Club, we do um, vehicle restorations and obviously tank restorations. I spend, uh, I, you know, time with the public as well, showing them around. And we've got a few youngsters about here, and they are very willing to learn. So I'm coming to the museum to do the Duke of Edinburgh Award. It's my first project, and it's quite a spectacular project to have. I enjoy really engineering tanks because it's something I really want to do when I grow up. Volunteers at the Norfolk Tank Museum have gone on to put some of the experiences within working on the military vehicles into proper use. They've actually gone off and gone into the army, gone into the RAF, and they're actually now serving soldiers within the British Armed Forces. We had one young lad that came here about seven, eight years ago to join the RAF. He's now working on helicopters and aircraft as a um, technician. They used to drive the 432s when I was in the military. It gives you a new, new perspective in life. If you've never had anything to do with the military, and then you come in here and working on military vehicles, it gives you an insight to what it's like in the military. Last year, the Norfolk Tank Museum had an absolute fantastic opportunity to work with a TV production company to build a replica Mark IV tank. Sitting in it right now, you're looking at you know the lowest gun sitting in their sponsons, and you think you can actually get a feel for what poor people inside must have gone through, and that's the closest you're ever going to get which is just a once in a lifetime opportunity. We got to um, work with Guy Martin, which is a great character. He's a fantastic guy. We took the tank out to Combray in France and we drove the tank onto the battlefields virtually 100 years from the end of the First World War. Having Deborah Two here is, is just opened up the horizons of the tank and it's something else that people that have not normally had the chance to work on or even get on and get involved with to be able to do, you know, this is one of the other fantastic opportunities you get for volunteering in the museum. It's the self pride that you get, and also helped me quite an awful lot with. Um, I I have PTSD, um, and that's helped me one hell of a lot because of the people up here, um, and also it's getting back into what I used to do. And it makes me feel part of a team. Everybody here is very helpful, and we all have a good laugh and joke with each other as well. I enjoy working on all the vehicles because it's something different to what I do for my main job. So the more volunteers we can get, the more smoothly we can run. It's all about coming together, being part of a team at the Tank Museum.